Well, I'm glad you could join us. There is a fascinating exhibit coming up. In fact, it's there right now at the San Francisco Library. Uh, Bill Doggett is with us right now. He's the curator of that particular exhibit and archivist. And uh, nice to see you, Bill. Nice to uh, see you. This is the Underground Railroad Exhibit is the way I was told it, it should be called. Is that right? That's correct. It's actually the Underground Railroad. Officially, it's the Underground Railroad Songs of Hope and Freedom. It's a uh, tribute exhibition to the 150th anniversary of the Civil War, which is being uh, commemorated all across the country. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And when I go there, what will I see? You will see all kinds of artifacts coming from my private collection of historical early manuscripts of, of Negro spirituals. You'll see quite a bit of illuminating text, the original text I wrote about the history of the Negro spiritual coming from West African story griot and coming from African uh, traditions of singing that were brought to the plantation and be morphed, if you will, into something even more unique. And the Negro spiritual specifically uh, during the Underground Railroad era was used in very unique ways. Many of the songs that, like Deep River, Steal Away, um, The Gospel Train, had simple messages, but in terms of helping when individuals were looking, like abolitionists and the great Harriet Tubman and others, other African Americans were looking to help in others to s escape and go north to Canada. They used the spirituals in unique ways. So it's coded messages. For example, uh, wade in the water we know as a spiritual, just simply as wade in the water. But wade in the water became something more. For example, when there were uh, what they were called these the, um, the 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 dogs that were you know bloodhounds looking for uh, you know escaped slaves, when they were on their track and really getting close. Wade in the water meant get in the water to evade the you know the you know the slave catchers and the dog hounds. Yeah. Steal away was one of the more well known spirituals used by Harriet Tubman. Steal away was is a song about stealing away to Jesus, but it's actually in terms of the the Underground Railroad was used as a sign. It's time to go. Mm -hmm. yeah, so things like that. The Underground Railroad um, was not really under, we're not talking underground. No, it was never underground. Yeah, I mean, that people should understand that. It was never underground. Under, it was underground in the sense it was tr basically running beneath the radar, if you yeah, will. Yeah, I mean, what, that's what I mean. Right, it, it, right. Yeah, yeah, it was it, above it, ground. It wasn't, it wasn't in, the, in the ground. Not technically, but <laughs> no, actually. That's the point. Right, yeah. exactly the point. Okay, right. now your family uh, goes back. To that era. Yes, yes. This uh, exhibition is dedicated in loving memory to my mother, Frances Clark Brown Doggett, whose birthday happens to be coming up uh, right around Juneteenth, which is June 19th. Um, and she is the granddaughter of ex slaves um, in Richmond, Virginia, uh, Abby and Henry Clark. And Abby and Henry Clark are particularly notable for Richmond, Virginia history because of the fact they were two free slaves, part of a group of nine slaves who founded uh, one of the most important and historic African-American churches in Richmond, now a national, uh, or I should say a Richmond uh, national treasure, and that's Six Mount Zion Baptist Church in Richmond, Virginia. Okay, so you've had a long his family history going back to, to, right. bring, my to bring to this exhibit. Yeah, exactly. My mother was a yeah. genealogist. She was a passionate genealogist, and uh, she is the one who was so successful at tracing uh, many things about uh, uh, her grandmother, Abby Clark, and mm -hmm. grandfather. Henry Clark. Yes, well, absolutely. it sounds like a fascinating exhibit. We're just about uh, short of time here, but I wanted to mention to everybody that, so they get the information that this exhibit called uh, is at the San Francisco Library, number one, Underground Railroad Exhibit, and it has a lot of your personal material that you have. Is that right? Yes, historical recordings from 1906 to 1930, uh, historical artifacts uh, okay. and, and, and documents. Okay, yes. Bill, nice to have you here. Bill Doggett's been our guest. He is a curator and archivist, and his work right now is at the San Francisco Library. Thanks very much for joining us. <laughs>